Okay, so we are ready. And uh, uh, tonight, this evening, uh, we are going to uh, play a bit uh, with the heuristics uh, by Nielsen and try to apply them uh, to the Hall of Fame and Hall of Shame uh, um, submissions that you uh, have uh, selected uh, during the, um, the first lab of this course. Hmm? Uh, you remember that in the first lab, uh, the goal was uh, uh, submitting the uh, sum, a uh, couple basically, uh, of good designs uh, or a couple of interfaces that you found uh, easy to use uh, and a couple of uh, interfaces. Welcome, is there a problem with the webcam you're saying? Um, can't you see my, my camera? Okay, I can see myself also. Okay, so. Okay, so if, if there is a problem persists uh, or also with other people, please let me know. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was saying that you submitted some good and bad designs uh, according to uh, our uh, perception, our intuition. Okay, uh, we didn't study anything yet uh, when, uh, when we were doing uh, lab number one. Okay, so we asked you uh, what was your, let's say, daily experience uh, uh, with, the, um, with the different uh, exercises. Uh, deal with different uh, applications and websites okay now we have learned uh, the usability heuristics uh, that we are going to use also for evaluating our own uh, design uh, but basically we can uh, try to um, understand why okay some designs were um, you know uh, were cataloged uh, into or were classified into the good the hall of fame uh, all of the, uh, yes, the Hall of Fame part, or they were uh, classified as bad design, and uh, so there we we put them into the Hall of Shame. Mm -hmm. So uh, we try to uh, not just to confirm, okay, that our choices were were well done actually, but also try to to argument them according to the heuristics. So this is uh, an important step when you are. You see some bad design, especially, or we, you see some problems. Uh, you cannot just tell to the designer, okay, this is wrong, or this is not uh, usable, or this uh, uh, creates problems, because uh, then other people will start, or the designer will start ag argue with you. No, it's not true. I, I make it this way, and it's working well, and so on. Okay, so it's always better if we can reduce the problems to known. Uh, rules uh, of, in this case, uh, heuristics, uh, um, so that we can say, okay, you see, you are violating these rules, so don't argue with me, uh, go and argue with Nielsen, or at least correct uh, uh, your um, your design, which it may be easier than convincing Nielsen that uh, for 30 years he has been wrong on that point, okay? Nielsen and in general, all the uh, human computer interaction community. Hmm? So let's keep this in mind. We just uh, we are fresh from seeing uh, uh, the, the definition and some examples of these uh, ten rules, uh, and we try to apply them to uh, our designs. Um, first of all, I I collected uh, your designs and I try to analyze them in the in the past uh, weeks, and uh, uh, actually there, as expected, okay, for many many people we we had very different submissions. Uh, on a very wide range uh, of, of type of, of applications. So that was good for having you know, a big overview. Uh, it was a bit more difficult for classifying them, for analyzing them, of course. Um, many usability problems uh, uh, that you spotted and you also uh, wrote in the comments uh, uh, were easy to find uh, just at the first glance. So you see, you open a website, you see a web page, you open an app and buy that and you immediately see that something is wrong and you can point to that okay this is wrong specifically uh, in many cases the it's uh, the the overall design which is totally nonsense or in some cases some detail some specific detail which is uh, difficult to use or difficult to understand okay maybe you found that problem in the past uh, while uh, using that um, there are some easy targets to shame hmm? And uh, I used to say that this year uh, you were less uh, uh, okay, prone to, to find easy targets than, than the first year, than the, the years before you. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's quite, well, it's not normal. It should not be normal. 
okay but it happens that if you take a public service so the website of a of a city of a of, of, a, of some public service like uh, you know some tax services or or some universities uh, very often they are very bad okay so it's very easy to find uh, okay there's a, a good chance that if you choose uh, you know the the website of a given city or a given uh, a region uh, or a given country then you go there if even if you don't know it's very likely that it's uh, it will be a, a bad website okay and so it's uh, it's easy to shame them and uh, it's it's also strange because actually uh, it's not so difficult to to imagine what uh, what are the needs for the users that visit i don't know the website for a university or uh, the student or the user that visit a website for, for, a, for a city or for, um, for a village, for example. But that, that's, that's the reality. That, that shows that uh, the design of those uh, websites, especially in the public services, uh, uh, were not inspired by usability principles. By, they were inspired by other uh, criteria. And the same is for universities. That's why it's very easy for us to find better uh, design um, examples of, of bad designs from from the Polytechnic website, website because it's the same across all the public services basically. And there are some easy targets to to fame, not to pull to, into into the Hall of Fame, uh, especially uh, very successful enterprises. Okay, it's easy to say. Okay, uh, um, I don't know, pick Amazon, pick uh, Google Mail, pick uh, uh, Google Search. Uh, uh facebook is more hmm, can be discussed because maybe not everybody likes it but for example uh instagram is uh, uh it's very well designed um you may like it or not but from the design point of view it's okay and so you, it's easy because there are very but let's speak the the example of amazon for example the, their business uh, is crucial it's crucial that the users will be able to find the product very easily very quickly uh, without a lot of expertise without wasting too much time because that's uh, that will turn into money immediately so if you are making money with your website uh, uh, the logic would say that you are also investing some of this money to make the website more efficient and so make more money for yourself okay uh, this is a uh, it's quite a logical thought, but we will see in the in the numbers that uh, in some cases, especially in small smaller scale uh, retailers, uh, they didn't understand that yet. Okay, so uh, they they still uh, haven't understood that uh, the website is a is a tool for making money and not just a tool for marketing. Okay, which is uh, usually not so much concerned about usability and efficiency um so it's easy to find the two uh, extremes in the spectrums public services are usually examples of, of bad designs and the successful big enterprises are usually okay normally uh, examples of good design in between you can have of uh, everything else um today we are not going to, to to discuss the content that you submitted in the form but uh, uh, in some cases it was difficult for you you remember there was one field in the survey asking uh, uh, what is the website about or the application what is it about and you have just one line for uh, for writing that and in some cases it was not so not so easy huh? um, not being able to summarize the goal of a website in one sentence or just being forced uh, to write a very generic sentence okay this website gives you all the information about everything okay that's uh, the, con the information content of the sentence is nearly zero okay uh, and this means that uh, if you can't tell what the application is about then uh, it's likely that this application is not going to be focused on some specific user need it just does something but uh, uh, is not very well aligned with one specific or, 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 a, or a very clear set of needs and uh, uh, that's also um, you know, a warning sign okay uh, that it will be difficult to design something uh, in a clear way when you don't have the clear the clear idea and the website doesn't uh, show itself 
um, very clearly and very directly what it's uh, what it is about. Okay, it seems that some websites uh, are a bit of, of shy or ashamed. I don't know uh, on which uh, level I, I will put it uh, to to tell what they are or what they want to do. Okay, and uh, you know uh, in, on the internet uh, the more focused you are, the more successful you may be because people just go there looking for you. Hmm? And, and we see that when we try to explain in, in a few words uh, what this application is doing, uh, uh, we stumble, okay, across the words. Uh, the motivation that you wrote in some cases, uh, there was a field about the motiva motivating why uh, 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 the page was uh, in the Hall of Fame or in the Hall of Shame. Um, actually, there was a very wide uh, uh, range. Uh, somebody just wrote one line, somebody annotated the picture, and somebody just wrote a, a much longer text, but it's normal, it's to be expected. We didn't force any 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 length on that. Um, two bad points um, about your submissions. One is that many screenshots were not significant, okay? So when you're screenshotting me, I don't know, the login page for uh, Airbnb is just a, an empty page with a login button. There may be any website behind that. So maybe you're saying, okay, I'm familiar with the Airbnb. I know that it's a very well designed website. I find it very useful uh, and sorry, and also very usable. And, uh, uh, but you are showing me on the home page uh, with, the, with the login button. I, I just let me show you, for example, I don't want to shame any of you, but just to show an example uh, from here. Sorry, this uh, is, this, we have a larger one. Okay, so this is the login page for Airbnb. And uh, um, it's, uh, it doesn't tell me much about the usability. Probably uh, showing a page where you already did some research, some search, and you found some, some, uh, some results would have been more significant and more illustrative of, the, of, the, of why okay, this page or this website was useful. Uh, also this one, you know, the, the, the shop for the Apple Watches. Uh, yes, it's very essential, but it, it's just the front page, okay? So from the front page, uh, it's difficult to understand or to infer uh, what if the content of the, of the application would be usable or not, okay? So at this point, we can only comment uh, uh, whether uh, these two buttons are easy to discover or not, but not much more. So in some cases, you didn't choose a good uh, Maybe you chose a good website, but you didn't choose a good page to show from that website. Um, in some case, it was okay, some marketing screenshot, for example. Uh, let me find the this one. It's not a real screenshot. Okay, it's just something, some image that the, that the designer of the uh, of the application just created for marketing purposes. Or uh, there was another one I remember for Immuni. I don't know if it's here or there. Okay, here, this one. Again, you know, we know that it's a screenshot for Immuni, uh, but it's uh, okay. There, there are fragments of the, of the application, but they are not the application itself. Okay, um, uh, they are just examples. So uh, they don't uh, represent your your direct experience. They, you are you are only submitted some. Uh, marketing material for the application and the marketing material is not always uh, representative i would say it's never representative of the real experience with the with the real thing okay uh, last point is i found uh, several repetitions so it looked like some people work together and they submitted the same uh, website uh, uh, serially so there were many copies uh, of that uh, it's not a big issue but uh, it's uh, we lost a chance of having more examples uh, because uh, several people submitted the very same exact uh, identical example okay so um, and uh, i analyzed uh, all these uh, screenshots uh, and i tried to group them into some categories hmm? just to understand uh, or to see whether we can find a pattern in in all of this uh, so uh, the numbers don't uh, don't have the same total, don't adapt uh, exactly because some minor points or some submission were invalid. So they don't try to cross-check the numbers because they will not check. Okay, but uh, to just to give an idea, um, 
the categories of the websites are just more or less uh, uh, and so are arbitrary categories and they try to sort them more or less by the number of submissions so we have a, a lot of submissions from uh, websites of news so newspapers for example uh, or documentation uh, sorry documentation websites or uh, uh, news they may be news from newspapers or you know uh, just uh, social news so some people that post new advertisements uh, and so on and uh, these were consistently or consistently, mm, uh, predominantly ranked very badly okay so uh, this uh, could be surprising because you see it's a uh, uh, the, the goal of a news uh, or a documentation website uh, should be very clear, okay? You, you, are, you should provide uh, information uh, for the news website. Uh, the most timely, timely information is more important. Uh, and for a documentation website is, uh, is the organization of the information which is important. But you are just providing information and articles. So how could you make it wrong? Hmm? It turns out that you can make it wrong many times. Uh, because maybe you are trying to stuff too much content into a single page. You are trying to mix, uh, uh, for example, I remember uh, the, the uh, where's that? Uh, the, okay, the CV website uh, or okay you can find this again okay this one for example you know, okay for this is uh, uh, the common vulnerabilities and explore the cv website which is very important for the security uh, and um, and uh, the most important thing would be thing to, to why are you going there to find the new vulnerabilities which are the hottest one which are the new ones they are there, but you need to search for them. Okay, there's a lot of information which is really not not directly relevant. Who we are, how to become a member, latest news about uh, the the stakeholders, and so on. But uh, I would have expected a very important list at the center with uh, with the list of my vulnerabilities and so on. So this is a set, a set of news that doesn't show their news on the front page. Okay, this is uh, uh, quite curious, quite a, quite a uh, strange choice. Okay. Um, Sylvia say, tell me that you can't screenshot immunity due to the protection criteria. Okay, you can do you can also you can, you can also make a picture with another phone. So, uh, if you have uh, to you know to, to shame your your friends, uh, you can find solutions also for uh, for going over the, the protections of the phone. Okay, but it's not it was nothing about against you, of course, it was just to, to think about how useful the information could be. Okay uh so don't get don't go to the defensive uh, uh mood okay um shops uh, are a bit of a mixed choice so there are some very good ones and uh, some uh, bad ones okay and if we cross check them uh, we see that uh, um, in many cases the bigger ones the more you know, successful ones uh, are, are being evaluated uh, positively and the others uh, were the, were smaller ones or uh, more say marginal ones uh, for the public services or university as expected uh, uh, most of the uh, devaluation were negative ones uh, and uh, a lot of the people submitted the uh, pages with the chat application now it could be mail it could be slack it could be discord it could be Telegram, there was a couple of people and, and so on. Okay, this kind, this category of, of applications uh, that let people uh, discuss. And it's very interesting also here because they are uh, in many cases uh, very well designed. Okay. Um, and this of course is, uh, there are so many chat applications uh, that the ones that you know must be better than the others. Uh, the the only way for competition between this kind of application is uh, easy to you to being easy to use uh, easy to uh, to log in having a lot of functionalities having functionalities that are easy to discover and so on because otherwise they would be forgotten okay there are uh, we we mentioned maybe the four or five more um, more popular chat chat application but there are probably 
um, uh, 50 more available that people don't use so much and they don't use them probably because they are not so nice to use or easy to use uh, and they don't engage a network uh, uh, the network effect uh, that everybody should must install them because everybody has is already in hmm? so this in, in case in this case it's a very um, a service uh, that is very um, chatting or communication it's a commodity service hmm? everybody is doing that in the same way more or less they are providing the same service the winners are those that provide the same services with a better usability with a better interface with a better functionality hmm? but the service is the same it's not like a shop where if i want to buy a pair of shoes i cannot go to a website that will sell will only sell i don't know uh, household items and so on hmm? so they, they cannot compete on the product they only can compete on the tool or the application and that's why they invest more than than all the others uh, Travel and maps is was a uh, was an even comparison eight against eight, except uh, I just used the the subcategory Airbnb that we won four against zero. Okay, so uh, except uh, if I don't look at Airbnb that looks like uh, looks like a success story, uh, the travel application are usually very uh, are usually bad. Okay, eight against four, in general, and here. You see Trenitalia, you see GTT, you see other uh, bus drivers and so bus uh, providers and so on, which have very bad uh, interfaces. Okay, because they are coming from a services which is very far from the information society. I would say they are moving stuff, and they maybe don't have the, the right culture to understand um, how, how to how to engage the community. Office office tool applications are more or less. Uh, there are some good ones, some bad ones. They are very different. Uh, uh, in this category, we had uh, PDF viewers, editors, uh, graphical editors, and so on. System tools uh, are utilities, okay? So uh, utilities in the operating systems uh, or utilities that you can download for doing some system-related tasks. And usually these are negative ones because they are too complex and they are strange because the developers didn't think about the normal user they think about they thought about themselves i am a power user i want a very uh, complex interface and so when other people use them they find them confusing or too complex or not or not, not clear hmm? uh, health and personality in general applications uh, i think that the idea is the same as chat they provide a very common service uh, and so the ones that we remember remember and we use are the ones that uh, that actually are nice to use and nice to see uh, learning application for mainly mainly are for learning english or languages or also for interaction during learning classrooms uh, okay these numbers are less significant because they are smaller numbers so the statistical error is much uh, is much stronger and so from from here down i i, I cannot say something uh, very very strong the, the betting website so when you are going to make bets uh, are always consistently negatively rated they are they have very ugly interfaces that are terrible and uh, like the people that are managed uh, the, this, uh, these activities usually they are terrible people so probably there's a kind of uh, of a relationship um the streaming tv is a very strange example where uh, probably is a bad design uh, by design okay they were uh, designed badly in order to force you to browse uh, it's very uh, complex to find what you want uh, the search experience in you know netflix or the other um, uh, streaming tv providers is very very heavy okay they want to uh, rely more on browsing and suggestions but if you're looking for something you find it difficult to find uh, and uh, actually what they would like uh, is for you to click on the first uh, link on the suggested video and forget about the rest no? it seems that the rest is just there to 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 waste your time basically because you don't really find uh, what you want uh, you don't really find the information you want and then it's not very consistent uh, depending on where you click uh, uh, you will get the different results mm? so they were there were no no many submissions but all of them were negative um, and another classification was about the type of submissions. Uh, the majority of submissions were websites, uh, was uh, nearly 80 of them. 
and uh, some of oh, the um, another group uh, were mobile applications there were uh, 35 37 uh, submissions so basically one to two in a one to two ration and uh, okay the number of not so strong differences are not so strong but generally mobile applications uh, you feel and this is your feeling you feel that they are more usable than websites hmm? there should be some reason okay because a uh, web mobile application that is not so easy to use, uh, nobody will actually really use that. In some cases, the websites, you are forced to use them because they are the only way to get some services. And so you, you don't have so much choice and the designers don't have so much, so much investment. Also, probably people who are designing mobile applications are already more accustomed to user-centered user thinking, while people who design websites in some cases don't care don't think too much about uh, the usability there were also some desktop, uh, desktop applications but uh, they were even basically between good and bad hmm? so this is quite a, an interesting picture uh, we, we we have some confirmation about the public uh, um, some surprise about uh, the news uh, for example that uh, i didn't think it was uh, it could rate so badly hmm? Uh, so, uh, do we see a pattern? Uh, and uh, the question is, who is a design or as a product industry uh, values the usability the most? Hmm? Uh, we saw that basically the private institution are better than the public ones. Hmm? They value more the service that you are selling and they understand more that the service uh, will be provided through the application uh if you if you have a profit uh, uh may probably you, you you may invest more so the shopping website and so on. even if the shopping website uh, you see some of them are good and some not uh people um, websites are selling travel information travel services are not so good but for example airbnb which uh, doesn't sell uh, if, we, if we think of the difference uh, uh, airbnb doesn't own the property they don't sell you the property they sell you just the service okay so if uh, selling or managing the services wouldn't be so easy or so nice to use uh, you wouldn't use that and you would just go down to the original provider to the owner of the house for example so people are using you know the intermediary the 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 these uh, middle i say agents uh, because they are easier to use, they're easier to find than the uh, the back information that we have. For example, we, we didn't have any submission here for sites like uh, hotels.com, for example, or expedia.com and so on. In hotel.com, you can buy the same hotel room that you can find if you went to the real website of the hotel. But in many cases, you go to the middle agent because it's easier, because it tells you more information, more comprehensive information, uh, all the, um, uh, let's say, comments from other people so, and so on, from other people and so on. And so you find it more convenient to buy a services, which is the mediator, and not the uh, real um, seller of the first seller of, the, of, the, of these goods. Hmm? Um, in many cases, uh, some cases, uh, startups uh, were rated more successfully that, than corporations because corporations are ever more uh, uh, bigger inertia. So be, before you, they change something, it takes years. Okay, while a startup is building something from scratch, and so they can also follow the latest, let's say, design rules or the latest uh, uh, interface guidelines. Hmm? Uh, the same is for the incumbents versus emerging emerging ones. Uh, like you know, uh, Airbnb uh, need to be better for competing. Otherwise, they would never be discovered uh, over the incumbent uh, providers. Okay, and uh, and the same is, uh, is if you have to use something for work, even if it's not so good, you have to use, you have to use it anyway. Hmm? So you have no choice basically. So it, there's no too much incentive uh, for the provider of the service to make it nicer to make it better to make it easier if you're using something for entertainment uh, uh, the, the whole point uh, is having fun uh, and so if uh, you find something which is difficult or or boring or nasty to use you just don't do that okay so in this case uh, 
uh, you can find a good a good shift in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is just the, the, the situation that we have today. So some kind of producers value usability more than other kinds of producers. In some cases, for cultural reasons. Uh, so, for example, corporation, non-profits. Like imagine the CVE, for example. It's a non-profit and it's a very bad design. They are for them it doesn't make too much difference for their users it will make a difference so it's a cultural issue uh, in some other cases it's uh, it's um, an economical issue okay okay uh, having said that uh, we can go and, uh, and check some examples okay um, so uh, we try to apply and they try to report in most uh, in the most uh, examples uh, the list of the of the ten uh, yeah, Nielsen's uh, heuristics, and we'll try to to check in the, some good and some mostly bad designs and some good ones uh, which of these heuristics are uh, uh, are being violated. Okay, so I, I selected, I picked some of them. Okay, and um, we don't have time to to see eighty different submissions because there were forty and forty more or less, uh, but I picked some of them just to to make some points. So these were uh, one of uh, the bad examples. And uh, OK, uh, we can feel that it's bad, uh, but why? Hmm? Uh, what is wrong with that? So uh, can we understand uh, what this web? Oh, sorry. What this uh, website is about? Um, I think we, we can understand it quite easily. It's a shop. Huh? It's something that uh, uh, it was going to sell something. Um, uh so it's uh, it could be quite clear okay uh, visibility of system status uh, for the moment uh, the num um, heuristic number one uh, doesn't apply immediately because right now we still don't have any uh, we we haven't selected any product uh, so the system the system status would be in this case for a shop uh, would be the content for example of my shopping cart and uh, um, for example the availability of an item is it available or not uh, is it being as in be shipped or not so in this page we don't see that hmm? um no, we don't see that yet hmm? uh, probably i don't know uh, we have a cart here uh, i would expect it to change if i put something to my cart that would be one status information that i want it to be visible uh, I don't know whether this page was taken with a logged in user or not, but this icon doesn't tell me whether I'm logged in or not. So actually, from the visibility of system status, we, which is for these details, for example, uh, it's quite bad. Hmm? Uh, matching the system with the real world. Uh, in in this case, I don't. Do we have uh, good metaphors that match the function of the systems with the real um, items in the world? They are trying not to use some metaphor like with the icons here, huh? uh, but uh, it's not very clear uh, how how they organize them. Hmm? Probably, hmm? but this one probably is not is not a, the, the worst uh, errors. User control and freedom. I would say that the user probably has too much freedom. Hmm? Okay, it can go uh, where it wants, uh, but it's uh, finding the right location. Uh, it could be could be difficult uh, because there are a lot of them. Okay, um, consistency in standards. Uh, so, do we have the standards? So we have the logo in the top left here. Uh, we have the search, which is in center, which is quite strange. Usually, I would find it. Um, below, uh, in the right on the right hand side, or uh, below, we have two search boxes here. Hmm? One is about the search for category, and the other is about the search by I don't know which which criteria, maybe some product. So how these two will match is not very clear. <clears throat> Having two search and the, the close, uh, what does it close? What am I closing with this button? 
okay uh, i wouldn't expect to have a clause function in the in the list of of, uh, of categories uh, maybe it will close the list of categories but closing the category probably will or would just uh this button this menu button would just close it so uh we could also of course we could try and understand immediately what it does but uh, the standard way of designing website is not applied for example also they are using two menu buttons and this is the main menu uh, the, uh, the the hamburger icon is the icon for the main menu so i cannot see it more than once uh, in the same page for example okay uh, about consistency i don't know uh, because in this page i think uh, uh, okay the information the colors and the fonts are quite consistent uh, inside this page across the different pages uh, uh, i don't know um, this uh, button here five euro i i don't understand what's uh, what it's about maybe it represents some uh, special offer i don't know uh, maybe it represents some if you click there you go to some products that will sell for five euros uh, i don't know it's not a standard button that you could see in a standard in a in the bottom left location with a price uh, so there's no standard action that we can expect uh, out of that button hmm? uh error prevention uh okay this one doesn't apply actually because we we don't have anything to uh, probably if we start to write search something and you if, if we make some mistakes in the search we can see if the website's doing some error present prevention some spelling check uh, correction and so on but right now on this page we cannot see that we, we need to see it in, in action <clears throat> uh heuristic six uh, recognition rather than a recall i think is uh, uh actually you don't need any recall here because everything is written down okay maybe mm, too much is written down but for this heuristic i don't see any any violation because there's nothing that uh, if if we have some icon here uh they, they will also tell me the explanation for this icon so i don't need to remember the meaning of the icon so this one is good uh, number seven flexibility and efficiency of user um, about flexibility uh, i don't know because in this page it doesn't look uh, very flexible but we have everything there so about the efficiency uh, i just want to mention some uh, criteria okay that we we didn't discuss because uh, we didn't go into this kind of details uh, that uh, as psychological criteria that will tell us that the people oh, it could be an obvious thing people spend more time if they have to choose amongst the longer list of objects or longer list of, of, of options so basically this uh, law by mr x uh, says that uh, we have a, a logarithmic dependency between the number of possible choices and the time that you take uh, for choosing which uh, which item you you need okay uh, imagine when, when you go to eat some pizza and they give you a menu with uh, 200 different pizzas how many how much time do you need uh, to, to choose your uh your, your pizza that, that you, you prefer you need to check all of them and then you forget and then you go back and so on then if you have a menu with only 10 options or only a couple of pages with very clear options uh, you can point it uh, uh, maybe you have less choice but it will be more efficient uh, from that point of view so in this case the efficiency of the operation is not very good because really people before selecting a, a, an item they, they need to more or less have an understanding of of the whole set of categories so uh, this is bad from the efficient point of view uh, as you mentioned and Enrico mentioned of course the minimalist design is totally um, absent here so we are doing actually trying to stuff everything to that page uh, so the aesthetics uh, is not so bad by by the way but it's too much uh, content in the page uh, recording from errors uh, i i don't know here because uh, i would need to, to see the next page for for, for for just one page you cannot evaluate all of the heuristics some of them are inherently bound to the dynamic of the interaction okay 
and uh, help and documentation here uh, i only see some help in the form uh, of, of a chat line here that may help you probably um, and i don't see any any documentation anywhere as to the contact probably this is the contact is a, a form of help but it's not direct i don't know what this is i don't think it's uh, it's more i think it's more statistics probably i don't know rather than documentation so i don't see a lot of documentation here how to pro, how to proceed okay so this is just for trying to apply if you want to explain them you can probably rank uh, more on the number eight and number one uh, and, pro and probably also number four which are the, the rules that have the heaviest violations okay they are the only uh, nearly against those uh, those rules um i already mentioned uh, uh, the cv which is the should be the website that collects uh, uh you need you see cv is a list of entries each container identification number etc., 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 for public known cybersecurity vulnerabilities okay this is uh, the important goal of the website and they are telling that uh, after two lines of text okay so <coughs> it's not very good no they are not uh, introducing themselves uh, uh very easily the system status is not visible at all how many okay i have only this number here okay but which are the latest ones which are the most important ones uh which are the ones that should attract my attention okay the more dangerous ones for example uh which are the uh so uh, all the, the the information that i need when i go to such a website is not visible there okay um if i want to find the list uh, probably i go to list or uh, can i go to the cv list or can i go to the cv list there uh, and so there is no much consistency because uh, we have list uh, cv list uh, may be the same or not search cv list uh, searching is the, is the same as uh, as this one so do these two buttons do the same do these two actions do the same i don't know because they are calling them in a different way but uh, uh, we don't uh, uh, we are not sure whether the result will be the same hmm. then we have very cryptical cnas hmm, which is something that is not explain oh cna uh, to understand what a cna is uh, i need to go here to become a cna which is a cv numbering authorities so it's something which is very very specific and i don't know why it should be at the top of the page and so on but especially uh, uh, you, you you see that uh, the, the same the same acronym here is being used in different ways uh, in different parts of the website so the consistency is not very good here um user control is quite limited you can only click somewhere for searching which is probably um an important operation here now i want to i want to check if there are some linux uh, uh, vulnerabilities for uh, i don't know uh, arm processors that came out in the last month I expect a website like this uh, just to have a search box immediately visible. I have to go here and probably I hope that I get a search form with all the info, with all the fields, with all the information I could uh, I could select. Hmm? So I don't have a lot of control in this page about what I want. I only I can only click some links, and most of the links are not really interesting. The blog, the news, and so on. Uh, is not the main if the main focus is maintaining the list uh, give me the list no. put me the list in the, as, in, the, in the first page in my face basically mm -hmm. uh, the aesthetic is a minimalist design it would be okay so number eight is okay the efficiency is not so much probably uh, because i need to go to, through several steps um, 
um, recognition order recall is quite bad because it it will introduce me one two three different four ids acronyms and i need to remember what these acronyms mean across the page when i wrote this page i i really had to read it more than once just oh, what does it mean oh, okay it's explained here uh, but i then go back i have a cv entry which is a different thing than the cv list and the cv and cna are two different concepts so i have to remember to learn these new acronyms which are not normal words and so it relies a lot uh, on recalling the meaning of the different uh, uh, of the different uh, um, terms uh, that are being introduced here. Okay, so I agree that this is a is a bad web page, which is not actually doing anything that uh, the website uh, anything related to the real mission of the website, which is explained here in words, uh, but is not shown mm, by the website itself, right? um okay this one is one uh, betting website uh i don't know what to say basically because i would really i'm lost here hmm? what what, I sh what should i do where should i go uh which actions which buttons are, are clickable or not uh, really, it's uh, it's not clear to me. No, um, even you know this one looks like a menu, probably, and this look should maybe is the selected items in this menu. Maybe I don't know. Hmm? Uh, and this one is it a menu or is it a set of uh, just favorites? So I can add or delete probably some favorites. Mm -hmm. And we have these uh, uh, labels here that have been truncated, so they are very difficult to read. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so th this left part looks like a navigation. The center part, uh, for example, are these ones uh, check boxes? Can they be selected or not? Or are just the decorative elements? Uh, are this table is this table in the last minute here uh, interactive? Can I click or should I click somewhere, or is that just something that I can read and so on? Hmm. And really, uh, maybe somebody who's using that every day learned and got accustomed to that, but uh, the, the information is very badly conveyed. They try to stuff too much uh, information. And every element of this page is a shouting. Okay, there are very this bold face here, bold face capital here, uh, very strong contrast of color, um, bold everywhere, caps lock everywhere, and so you. I don't know where I should put my attention because every box here is uh, fighting for my attention. So what is the main point of this page? What well, the main location of this page that it should look? I, I, I don't know. The, the web page is that, it doesn't tell me that, OK? Um, uh, visibility of system status. OK, what is the status? Uh, the status, I can see my account here, which is 100 euros. Uh, but I don't know if I already bet for something. Do we have any pending bets? These bets are close to expire. They have a timer here. They have a timer here. They are close to expire. But did they bet on some of these or not? Or, I, or these are just shown because they are expiring, but I didn't bet on them yet. Uh, it's uh, again, it's, it's not. It's not clear. It's not shown here. Okay. Um, match the system with the real world. Uh, probably probably this one is uh, is better uh, because they are uh, very careful about uh, matching the information that they give here with some real matches uh, real or, or, or virtual maybe uh, matches with all the timing and all the uh, all the information so in this case they are showing you some something that is happening in the real world and and th this part uh, i think is uh, uh, it's not clear as it is in the presentation, but the information is there. 
uh, user control, I, I would feel totally out of control, like I say. I don't know what can be clicked. If you ask me where should you click in the center part of the page, okay, apart from the left part, which is a navigation, I would click here, probably. This is a button. It's a clearly a button. I don't know if I should click here. They look like checkboxes, but also this one looks like a checkbox and it doesn't make any sense to have a checkbox in the title. So I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I would not click here in the last minute part. I don't see anything that looks like a button or a selection. Maybe I could click on one of these badges. Maybe, I'm not sure I would try. And maybe this one, these badges here look like something I, I could select. And probably I could be very wrong. I don't know this website, but for the first impression, these are the only parts that they, I think, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the menu at the top, uh, of course, uh, or these buttons also. Hmm? But in the main content of the page, uh, I would probably try to click there, hmm? but I, I would not be sure. So I, would, I don't feel in control of what I'm doing. Hmm? I could try, hmm? but I'm not sure. And uh, uh, I would also be uh, very um, scary, scared of making some errors because, you know, here we have some real money. And if by clicking, I try to click here for checking whether it will do that something. And if I lose some money in the process, clicking there, will, that does make me actually bet something on that, uh, on that team or in the, on that match. I don't know. Hmm? So, uh, I, I need to try because the website is not giving me full control and I need to try where to go and I'm afraid of trying because I'm afraid of losing money. Hmm? So the, the, this part is uh, actually very bad. Uh, flexibility, efficiency, minimalistic design and aesthetics. Uh, I think uh, we already understand uh, okay, from, from the first example that all of this uh, heuristics are not satisfied at all uh, recovering from errors uh, uh, I, I don't know okay we, we should we would be able to check but uh, uh, documentation I don't see any documentation here I don't see any points where to click for having more information hmm? in a manual there are so so complex interfaces but they don't have you no know, the small question mark here that will okay help me understand what uh, these dif different sections of the website are about. It would be very easy. Uh, just a pop-up, just tell me explain. Okay, here you can just see the results. Uh, okay, here you can select uh, some matches you can bet on and so on. But there's no information about that here. Hmm. Um, okay, there's also a mix of languages, uh, okay. Uh, you see live betting here, uh, but the, the website is in Italian. It's Commesse, uh, Quote, uh, Commesse Live and Live Betting. Do they mean the same thing? So they are using jargon, they are using uh, made up words, titles, uh, without defining them, without giving them a, a real, um, a, a real uh, explanation. Okay. By the way, live, live betting is here, live betting is there, maybe there if Scommesse Live is the same as live betting and so on. Hmm. So there's a lot of uh, uh, inconsistencies in the naming. There's a lot of uh, recalling what a given word means here. So I think uh, we have uh, practically all of them being violated in this, uh, in this website. Hmm. And uh, from uh, the graphical point of view, uh, in your submission, we also had this one, which was uh, evaluating the Hall of Fame, basically, uh, in the in the right one. So uh, it's, they are very different applications. I just want to compare them from the visual impact. Okay, uh, they are all very. They, they both of them are very dense interfaces. A lot of information in small spaces, which. Uh, it's not minimalistic, of course, but in some cases it may be necessary. For example, the, the interface on the right 
is uh, uh, about uh, the, the, the trends of some uh, cryptocurrency. So you want to see these big coins, uh, uh, how they go up and down in order to be able to buy or sell them uh, and so on, okay? So you need, uh, uh, let me say that in this way, you feel more empowered, you feel more intelligent if you have a lot of data under your control. Then it's uh, just a, it's a false uh, sensation because having a lot of data doesn't mean that your brain is able to process it and to understand it. Okay, we all know that the human brain is very bad at doing numbers, number crunchings, and, and computation. But you feel intelligent, Casey. Okay, look at all these numbers. I see this one is increasing here, and so probably uh, in 27 minutes uh, I should double my offer or something like that. Okay. You can do that like they do in the movies, like in the Wall Street movies and so on. But I don't, I'm not really sure that they will help you, you know, in making uh, rational and, and efficient choices here. Okay. Um, but at least uh, I think it's more organized. Huh? It's uh, a lot of information that can be you know, open and closed. They use conventions here. Okay, the standards icon for open and close the section is shown there. Uh, the standard icon for filtering is shown here. The standard uh, icon for magnification, increase and decrease the magnification are, are shown there. So in a very dense interface, which is, I don't really like too much, but they try to uh, exploit uh, uh, all the conventions, all the standards, uh, Okay, uh, for uh, for making it more more usable. So it's uh, I could expect it. I if, if I try to ask myself the question, uh, I I'm in control. Am I in control? Where should I click? And what happens when I click? I I guess I, I would probably click on this icon bar here. Okay, I don't know why I should add some text icon here, but uh, never mind. Uh, these are buttons, clear buttons. These are clearly buttons. These are clearly buttons. I would never click here or there. They don't look like they should be clickable and they are not and so on. I probably will try to click on the columns here in order to sort the field. Maybe, I don't know, but it's not. But there's nothing wrong if I click uh, on some of them, okay? And uh, if the dangerous operations are here, Remember the principles for visual design. They are the only ones in a very different style. Everything is, is in gray style, very nice. And these are uh, bright red and bright green. So they are different and they should be treated differently. So, and they are the only dangerous button when I can buy or sell. And it's very clear that they are doing something different from the other buttons that are just for uh, browsing searching, visualizing, and so on. Hmm? So uh, the overall interface is very heavy. You know, of course, it's not very intuitive, but at least we can decode it uh, and we can, I think they're good at, uh, they did a good job at error prevention, for example. They don't mislead you and they feel you like, after you understand that, you feel you have some control, okay? I'm not afraid of, many, of making mistakes uh, for clicking anywhere except on these two buttons which show themselves very clearly, exchange buy, exchange sell. So it's very, uh, it's very clear what they are doing here. By the way, uh, in this domain, this is not the only possibility. So being complex is not the only uh, possibility. Oh, by the way, I, I, want, I also wanted to, to mention, since we have a lot of small targets here, small buttons to click and small uh, uh, items to, to select. Uh, there is also a very famous law, which is called the Fitz law, again, usability, that will tell me uh, the, the time needed to, to click on a target, basically. So if I have to click on a target, uh, the time it takes to click here depends basically on, on two factors. One is the size of the target. The smaller the target is, the more time I need to position my pointer exactly in that point. The wider is the target, of course, I can be more generous, I can be more error correlating or some error positioning errors, and so it would be easier to click. And the distance. 
so if the elements are uh, in a very tiny elements in a very wide space uh, my mouse will take time from do move to from here to there not because of the travel time but when you're moving the mouse or the pointer you usually make a, a one uh, fast movement to go near and one slow movement uh, to to find the final position okay and uh, this uh, double movements one and two takes time takes some time and so if you go um, if you have to travel longer distances it will it will take you more time because you have you will have more difficulty in adjusting the final position um, so having a large target and uh, near to the pointer to the the pointer is uh, probably in the last target that you clicked in the last position that you checked so they are very easy to 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 find uh, small targets that are also far to reach uh, are more difficult to to find and this is the formula that will tell me the index of difficulty and the time to complete will be more or less proportional to this index uh, the the size 2d is the double the diameter uh, sorry the distance uh, and w is the width uh, but mm, the, the formula is not of course exact there will be coefficients uh, to correct it but the general idea is uh, sorry if i uh, these two buttons again are very easy to click these icons will be very more much more not difficult but slower because you need to position yourself very very carefully before clicking uh, maybe it's it's okay because uh, we don't care if we are too slow or too difficult we need too much attention to click on these functions which are maybe advanced functionality you don't need it very often or you need it right away normally but uh, i make these two ones uh, which are the ones that are more important to my business model selling and and buying uh, very easy to, to to click by their size and by their position they are in the center of the screen so they are uh, not too far from any other item basically there are little hints that uh, maybe they were made consciously maybe unconsciously but uh, uh, they give a good result uh, by the way uh, in your submission, there was also this other website, uh, this other application, uh, that uh, also was about uh, cri cryptocurrencies. But basically, I think it was uh, the manager of a wallet uh, of different cryptocurrencies. And you see that uh, uh, we have many, this one was only, only about one currency here. And this is are about many currencies. Uh, I don't know uh, all of them, the real dollars, uh, this p this d and so on uh, you know oh, oh, they're real no they're real currencies here probably uh and also the other crypto um some um tab hmm? and they're telling you some information at the same time but there it's much cleaner much more minimalistic i i like the the guidelines would say they will give you the essential information how much do you have in the in your wallet right now? Uh, how much is a given currency evaluated uh, today? Of course, if you need more information, probably you will find it here. This is an icon uh, that suggests you can find very de detailed charts uh, and trend lines and so on. So you can, you can go there if you want, probably. Okay, we are not sure. Uh, from this just single screenshot uh, but uh, it doesn't seem so intimidating first it starts simple and then if you want to dig into something more complex and more details more detail you can go there so maybe you can have the same power as the right interface but also with a easier or uh, more gentle let's say introduction uh, like uh, easier screens some more uh, simple screen more minimalistic screens and so on that give you all the control you are, we are not losing uh, functionality here we are uh, hiding advanced functionality behind a simpler interface so if you are an advanced user you can go there immediately and you find all the details if you have a novice users you don't get scared by all those details that you cannot understand what they mean and they and the application will show you something that you can understand right away. Okay, so these two applications are both good designs in different ways, uh, 
but they are both good uh, they are probably designed with very different uh, users uh, target users in mind um okay i can show you also a couple of um, uh, applications which are desktop programs okay that you submitted so this one was uh, bad and this and the other one was were good they are both uh, uh, system utilities i classify them as system utilities this is uh, uh, okay it's easy to understand file renamer hmm? then why it's basic uh, i don't i don't I'm not so sure it's really so basic and uh, so we can apply the heuristics uh, also to program to software not just to websites or to mobile applications okay um, so it looks like uh, it's going to rename a bunch of files uh, with some rules hmm? uh, for the visibility, I think it's quite good because it tells me the old file name and the new file name for everything that has to be renamed. Of course, this is empty right now, but it could, uh, I imagine it will contain uh, all this information. Okay, so I, I think this is good. Um, I don't know exactly what will happen here if I select some files from more than one folder. I'm not so sure uh, because I don't see any any uh, position here, any column for telling me the folder in which the files are, are being selected. Uh, you can't, uh, Enrico, tell me. Uh, and so why do I need to scan more than one folder if I can only select files from one of them? Hmm? So this is the question that I have in mind. I, I can see more folders, so I imagine I my imagination okay enrico probably knows uh, uh knows uh, the application and you can select one file here and you say that the one file from one folder you have to click in the top right chapel folder here now i don't want to rename a folder i want to for example i have two folders here that contain uh the hall of fame and all of shame right and all the these file names, uh, uh, let me just show them here, uh, and the name that you gave when you submitted. I want to rename all of them, like one, two, three, four, five. All of the files in this folder and in the other folder, all of them together. Okay, this is why my, what I, maybe I want to do. I don't know how I can do that. Probably Enrico will tell me that I can do that. I need to do uh, two different renames. I don't know. Hmm? So I can't. Okay. So I think it's. Uh, um it looks like a powerful interface with uh, finding browsing through different folders scanning folders but then you can only operate one folder at a time nothing will tell me that okay um and then uh, what can i do here preview i think it's useless because we already have the preview here so when i select the file names you should also immediately tell me the name here why do i need to click on a preview for previewing the final name okay um, apply is in a strange position i would have put that in the in the in the right in the right most position like an okay button uh, okay and cancel i would then put them together uh this should be i don't know what these buttons do they are it looks like they are including or excluding or complementing some folders this is a folder icon am i right but if i can only work in one folder why should i select all the folders maybe they are all the files in the folder but then the, the icon is uh, we have a bad recall here they they use the icon for for folder maybe they're thinking about files and so we uh, we can map uh, okay uh, the exercise i'm trying to do here is to not reason with you and describe why this is bad by trying to use the words and the definitions in the in the guidelines so that we can map them okay um and this looks like a, a sort of a of a, um, of a filter find name properties uh for 
I don't know if it's the properties of the file name or the properties of the new file name. Uh, probably it's of the new one because I can include or not a separator. I can include no and incremental numbers and so on, an extension. So it looks like I'm I'm deciding how to create the the target file names. But uh, it's they are called the file name like the original one. So again, it's a consistency problem here. It's not clear to understand what's happened down there, but uh, uh, what's worse, uh, it, it's not clear how to, um, how does it, um, let's say, um, match with the other elements in, in the same user interface. Um, I would also be curious sir, to understand what is the difference between these actions, delete, uh, delete and remove, I will give you one euro if you know without checking what's the difference between deletion and removal of a file. Uh, and by the way, delete and remove looks like this tree looks like too much like the other tree, but probably they are totally different items. So uh, I, I agree that this uh, is, a, is a bad interface, basically. Uh, by the way, if we go on the top, uh, this is a file renamer. It does renaming, but also copy. Right, okay. Since uh, renaming was not enough, they can also copy and not just uh, renaming or moving. Hmm? So it's strange because uh, like now, right now copy selected, but not copy destination is defined. Again, it's inconsistent. This is another um, uh, utility at the uh, operating system level, basically. And uh, uh, it, it was submitted as a good design. And I agree with that actually, because it's quite clean, simple. Uh, sync, sync thing is a, basically um, a background application. Okay, something that keeps your files in sync, like, like Dropbox, for example, or like uh, on cloud or something like that. Okay. So you usually don't have to interact with that very much. But when you open it, it will just uh, give you some information. So it's basically, uh, the, the main goal of this application is uh, uh, giving you visibility of, of about what's, what is happening. So what is being synchronized? Uh, what are the folders synchronized? What are the performances uh, right now? How many servers you are connected and so on. Uh, and then you have some log files probably uh, if you want to, to see more details. Uh, and then the, the, the application is just uh, doing things without any uh, and you need to interaction. So you don't have to really control anything, but at least it's clear. The only thing which is not clear from this interface uh, is uh, uh, how could I, could I add one more folder to synchronize? Uh, probably I have to go, I, I don't know. I would expect here an, a nice plus button to say synchronize one folder more. Uh, I don't see it, so I imagine this is just a front end, and they should go probably to the same thing uh, menu. And there, I could find some options for changing the, the list of synchronizations. I don't know; these I'm not sure. Uh, also, the name of the application, Sync Tray Zor, it looks like a system tray for same thing. Okay, it's quite confusing because the name of the application shown in the icon. Uh, and the, in the window title and the name of the application shown in the main interface are different. So are they the same or are there two different applications? Uh, I, I, I don't know. This part has, is not very clear. So what I, how can, how could I modify uh, the synchronization settings here? Or I can, I, I could I suspend or pause here? Maybe make a pause button here. Uh, pause the synchronization for the moment. Uh, or uh, or or delete some synchronization. Uh, Enrico is telling uh, Enrico knows everything. Okay. Or did they select uh, uh, his uh, his, uh, his his screenshot by chance? Um, it's a GUI, okay, but it's a GUI that doesn't give you control over every action that same thing can do. Hmm? Um, okay. Um, 
so again uh, the, the the style in which we have different both of them are basically free freeware uh, applications but uh, the second one is much more streamlined uh, in their in their design and so we can apply also all of these uh, uh, categories uh, uh, for them uh, another couple of bad examples, but these are very easy to, to classify as bad examples. Uh, for example, the GTT, and uh, uh, in most of the cases, uh, there are information that uh, you don't need uh, uh, anymore. Uh, for example, s uh, telling me that until the 30th of October, uh, the, the the parking uh, fine are not applied and this is a news uh, that have been published in the uh, 2 of October and right now we are in November it's not useful anymore okay uh, you, you can delete this information uh, this one but it's only temporary so what are the current uh, problems with the with the with the buses so there are some line which is stopped which is blocked and so on it should be probably the most prominent information and in, in this case you you need to click on that okay uh, to see the lines to see the trams and so on they give you the the, the news uh, but not the, the real time ones hmm? and they are they are mixing something which is real time information with something to have general information um, if you want to 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 buy a ticket for example do you need to go to e-commerce or to tickets hmm? uh, it's not clear huh? uh, yes of course it's uh, acquisto renovo online il tuo abbonamento okay so it looks like the e-commerce is only for uh, subscriptions abbonamenti and so what is the difference between these two one is the the, the explanation and the other is uh, purchasing and how do i purchase a ticket a single ticket can i maybe i cannot but it's not clear so if if i check every portion of this web page i can find uh, uh, this sort of problems uh, the the example probably the most important examples in in uh, in italy is the imps website uh, which uh, uh, at first sight, it's very nice because they use a very nice uh, layout, uh, a very easy font, uh, and they use all the design toolkits to, to make it modern. But uh, after the first uh, second, when you're looking at that, you realize that you can no never find the information that you want. Huh? They are mixing uh, news, uh, uh, notices, uh, which was the difference between the two, I don't know, with services. Uh, and uh, if i want uh, to find other services uh, because i don't need maybe these are just the six listed ones uh, if i need some other service which is on this one uh, i should go to home who in the world puts a home button in the center bottom of a page in the home page so this is the home page and it does have a home button that we in a strange position that will lead you to a different page that probably is the real home page i don't know there are two home pages one is the front page and i don't know there's nothing concerning standards nothing concerning user control or visibility about where the user is and what is he doing and what happens when he clicks on these different services and if we go inside it becomes worse of course and it looks like <laughs> At first sight, our university copied in some way this style, okay? A very nice uh, page and colors, uh, but then when you go into the different, the specific services, you can understand where where to go and where you are and so on. So this uh, was just uh, a partial justification of what we are seeing today. Uh, this is another example of uh, Regione Veneto mm, that was submitted. A very strong red color. It looks like something is on fire, something is exploding. And uh, this in evidence looks like something which is uh, should be news or something new information. No, actually, they are the categories of, of the different news, the categorization. And uh, actually, it's very, very, very uh, strongly, not, not minimal at all. And 
you find difficult to read also you know, from the choice of the colors and of the layouts and so on uh, in evidence is here but it's also one attribute of one of the categories so is everything in evidence or just the news in the bottom right if uh, everything should be so they are using the words in a also inconsistent inconsistent way um, and if you look at if you try to read the maybe if you have more time read that the category they are not at, at the same level okay so in this case there are some uh, uh, information for paying uh, the, the car taxes and uh, here we have some one initiative in one building for doing something with the young people so really they are not on the same level one is a service which is already there and the other is an event that maybe lasts for a limited amount of time but you have no hints uh, that these are actually different types of items that are mixed uh, together. Um, the bad use of color, uh, Enrico is asking, uh, I think it's, it goes into the standards because red is never a standard and goes into the aesthetics uh, um, also uh, because it's uh, it's make it difficult uh, to, to decode and to see. Usually we try to have uh, uh, dark backgrounds with light colors uh, or light backgrounds with dark colors uh, but uh, we never use strong colors like that okay strong color like red should only be used by highlighting uh, warning signs uh, error buttons and, and so on okay so we, we don't use that at least uh, in, uh, in the in the western countries where the where the, uh, black white and red uh, uh, convey us a, a, a given meaning uh, it's also, um, yes, it, it partially is also under the user control because actually some users could have some difficulty or some, uh, uh, yes, difficulty in seeing the colors, in perceiving the colors, like colorblind persons so on, will have, will have trouble, uh, okay, in, in perceiving this information. But basically, it would file that and, under aesthetics and, and standards also. Standard, we say it's show me another big website that has this choice of colors. If you can in the whole world find a good website with this choice of colors, then the choice of color is bad. Okay, uh, I would not argue too much about the aesthetics because they they will tell no, but I like it because it reminds me of the colors of the flag. I I don't care. Okay, we are not uh, drawing the flag. We are building a website. And this last uh, I, I wanted to show because I liked it very much, uh, this, uh, this screenshot from a game. Sorry, I'm not a gamer, so I cannot remember which game is this. Um, but the comments are that space, okay? Um, Enrico Encyclopedia Mancuso is telling us also that. And uh, uh, the, the notes are that the, uh, some information about the game of course, uh, a lot of the interface is hidden because a lot of it depends on the controls and so on. But being a game, of course, the criteria uh, can also be different. But the visibility, they, they did a very good job of visibility because they're telling me that, uh, uh, OK, we have the number of, uh, of ammunition available, which is also shown as number here. So in many other games, you, may, you will have uh, maybe uh, some portion here that will tell you how many ammo you have still uh, available. And right now you are putting the information right in the place where it applies okay these are the ammunition for this gun and uh, and uh, it's shown here and al also the the health of the of the of the warrior is shown on the warrior himself the health or the or i don't remember if it's the the, the fuel that he still has available is shown uh, directly on the uh, on the on the armor of, of the warrior itself okay it's it's an information about the game that is inserted inside the game so it's very easy because it gives you a, a very strong matching uh, matching between the system and the real world you don't need to remember that the first slider uh, is a health and the second slider is ammunition and then uh, the color is uh, uh, how many damage you have and so on because they are all visible from the, the 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 character itself or the element in the game themselves so you don't have any 
this separation between the, the real the real thing that you are presenting and the way that they're using to visualize them like it happens many times so they could integrate them of course it only works in some conditions so uh, in this game you always see the warrior from, from the back so this information is always available in other in other type of games it's not so easy to do that but it's a it's an effort that they made actually to to make the uh, the whole interface much cleaner you don't have any cluttering about other you know dashboards or controls on the screen because actually all these controls are uh, inside the um, inside the game itself huh? and so even in extreme conditions like a video game is an extreme condition for for uh, human computer interaction uh, websites are much much easier because they're much more standardized but also here you can do good choices or, or bad choices uh, uh, following maybe not all of these uh, uh, guidelines uh, because uh, you know the, the visual design of a game is very different from the normal uh, desktop interface or mobile interface or web interface uh, but uh, the general principles still apply okay remember we went uh, we discussed the principles and the uh, the guidelines the guidelines are more specific and, and the techniques are more specific uh to a given technology while the principle apply in different ways also in uh, in broader context uh, like like this one for example in games or more in general think about virtual reality or other kind of settings so i think i, I enjoyed very much to to, to 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 try to see and to find uh, uh, among your submissions good examples bad examples uh it's i i invite you also to try to do this exercise uh, trying to, to read, uh, of course, in the first examples, we were slower. We tried to, to go uh, heuristic by heuristic, and then we went a bit faster because we wanted only to highlight uh, the specific uh, uh, characteristics of each, uh, of each example. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, try to, you know, to train your eye and train yourself uh, in, uh, in uh, reading the interfaces across these points. We could not, uh, uh, with one only screenshot, uh, it's very difficult uh, uh, maybe to, to check the user control and uh, error prevention, uh, recovery from errors, uh, uh, because it depends on what happens in the next screen. But if when you are using a real application, you can also uh, have more information about uh, uh, these, uh, um, these uh, uh, heuristics that on a single screen are, are difficult to, to evaluate. Uh, they can only evaluate internally uh, what happens inside the page, but not what happens uh, after the user um, does some action. Okay, so um, I'm planning maybe to find a way to, of sharing uh, all of these uh, screenshots that you submitted. So if you want to play the same game with other submissions, uh, you can go there and find some screenshots from other users. Uh, uh, they are not, not 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 easy to share because they are very different sizes and they are quite big. But probably I will just put up a zip file in, on the website so that you can you can have, have a look. Uh, there's nothing which is uh, private. There's no private information because they are all screenshot taken from uh, from public websites. And they saw that when you had some personal information, it was already deleted. So I think it's. Uh, it's, it's not a problem if I if I share with you with the screenshots uh, divided in Hall of Fame and Hall of Shame. Maybe I will use the tool for uh, um, renaming all the files so that uh, the name of the submitter is not longer shown in the in the file name. Okay, so I will try uh, to use this program <laughs> or, pro or maybe an easier one. Okay uh i think it's nine it's seven o'clock so we we had a good time together if you have any questions uh, or otherwise uh, uh, tomorrow uh, luigi will start with you another uh, a new topic uh, and more concerning the uh, more complex interfaces that are uh, multimedia multi-device uh, and uh, and uh, um, so going to the next level so basically the flow of design of a normal uh, uh, web application is already uh, sorry, completed basically we, we try to give you the most important information in, in every step and now we'll try to while you are working on your project uh, in parallel we are trying to uh, have a look at the next step so what is happening to today and tomorrow in the interaction in the user interaction and user experience world okay 
So thank you for being with me today and uh, see you in the next days. And remember the deadline for, for uh, the submission. Bye-bye and good evening. <laughs>